Back on the floor of San Diego Comic-Con, and we're here with the men of action. We'll start off with Joe Kelly. How are you, sir? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? How's, uh, how's your con experience been? Good, actually. My energy is shockingly going up in the middle instead of down, which is I'm not I'm on the, the exact way. reverse scale of you. <laughs> I'm about ready to go back to bed, and it's only, I think, 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon. Yes, exactly. That sounds good. Joe Casey is here as well. Yes, I am. Hello, sir. How's your con experience been? Pretty good. I'm not as up as Joe Kelly, but I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, you've got the glasses, so you might be hurting from last night. I might night. be sleeping right now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and also Steven Siegel is here. Hello. How are you? Tell us all about Men of Action. Uh, Men of Action is a collective of four of us, including Duncan Rulo, who is joining in just a moment. And we are a creative think tank. We are a writer's kind of collective, which is a weird concept in Hollywood uh, and entertainment. Some people have difficulty grasping. You don't see many collectives in Hollywood anymore. There are not many, and we're oddly socialist in our construction, so we terrify a lot of people. You're going to go on that uh, the McCarthy list exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> we, do, we do animation. We do live action television and film. We do video games. We do comic books through Image Comics. We do uh, a lot of stuff. What are some of the, uh, the properties that you're currently working on? We created Ben 10, and we're actually just going back to do a new version of that show uh, for Cartoon Network. I saw it. We also awesome. created Generator Rex for them. We executive produced and wrote. For Disney XD, we did Ultimate Spider-Man and Marvel's Avengers okay, Assemble, that's the, the two shows confused. for Marvel. Uh, we created the character and team for Big Hero 6, and then we've also got a slew of TV and film projects in the live action space coming up this year. You're pretty, I mean, creatively, I understand you want to be stimulated and, and, and get your, uh, uh, your juices out and, and everything. Stimulation but, and juices, ladies yes. and gentlemen. But uh, you guys pretty much, everything you guys have touched on here, you, you're pretty much done everything that anybody else is trying to get to in their career. They're like, I wish I just had one project that was successful, and you have many. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what else to say to add to that. No, we've been super lucky, and uh, and and I'll say that the other three guys are super talented. So that's why uh, you know we've gotten where we are. But it's um, we've had we've had that really good chemistry of we've known each other for a long time. We like working together. Um, as Steve often says we come at things from very different angles, but once we settle on what's cool, right. it's easy for us to lock in and then do a good job kind of knocking it out of the park. And right opportunities have popped up, and we've been able to uh, make the most out of them. And, uh, and Duncan, Duncan, Duncan is joining us here. Hi, sir. I completely agree with what uh, Joe Kelly said. We are, the three of us, very talented. <laughs> Joe had just done a couple of things that you might see in the next, I think, year. He had a voice in this character called Deadpool, which uh, I think uh, most people might. A little might. project you may have heard yeah, of. May, may yeah, may have heard of. He had, a principal, uh, he had a principal role in helping construct that. But beyond that, yeah, I don't it's, uh, you know, we had a movie that he wrote. That's, uh, and he's got another comic book that became the best anime or best manga in Japan. So uh, you're saying uh, outside, he's not pulling his weight? Is no, what you're saying? no. And it, he, what he needs to do is he needs to get down to brass knuckles here <laughs> and start getting this, yes, and accomplish something. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. <laughs> Uh, what the, I mean, just looking at all the stuff that you have here, let's start with uh, just with Big Hero 6 alone. Um, when that was um, chosen to be made and that news came out, everyone was kind of scratching their head and going, that's the one, that's the first property you're going to develop from Marvel, uh, you know, for Disney and everything. And, and then it just blew the roof off. Well, you know that scene in, uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy when I think it's, uh, who says Star-Lord? And yeah. he goes... Finally. <laughs> that was my reaction when I heard about Big Hero 6 being turned into a movie. I was like, finally. What did you guys know that everyone else didn't, that Big Hero 6 was going to be huge? Uh, all I know is that it, when we came up with it, uh, we thought it was the greatest thing that had ever been invented ever. But you know what? <laughs> you do. Anything you work on, you always feel that way. Uh, and then uh, I think I just harbored uh, a need to see it uh, turned into something bigger than it ever got, uh, got to. And I'm sure it was by my sure will that that happened. Oh, Steve needs a microphone. Steve wants the microphone. <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off, at least in this interview. Uh, no, the thing is, what, what uh, John Lasseter responded to, what we've been told when the various Marvel things were pitched to him, was the emotional core of the story they were pitching. And the very first thing we made up about Big Hero 6 was a boy and his robot, and in the comic version, the robot is a replacement for his dad who is dead. And it's, you know, it's that question of, 
can you let go and what do you hang on to of the people that you lose? That's still the spine of the Big Hero 6 movie and that's a resonant spine, it, you know, and Disney was willing to kill off the brother instead of his father uh, and tell that story and that's, that's a good story. That's the thing story. with Disney, somebody's got to go. Somebody's, somebody's going to die. Somebody's got to die. Yeah. Well, no, I think that that's uh, the very cornerstone of any good Disney movie. Death. <laughs> or Pixar. No, but it's, it, they're willing to talk about things that matter. A, a lot of times you look at comic book stuff and it's light, but those are heavy themes and they did them and good for them. Now, with these properties and it, with the success that comes with this, uh, Big Hero 6 and Ben 10, I'll, I'll point out, uh, there's a lot of merchandising that goes with this once the, it becomes really successful. Do you guys, <laughs> do you guys one, get free merchandise when this, these things are created? And two, do you get a piece of that merchandise? You can answer it if you want. I just want to say... I think that that's going to be the answer for every one of them, that Steve should have answered this one. <laughs> our contract, uh, for one, I won't say which one, one of these things, our contract called for them to give us a copy of every piece of merchandise that was made, and we received exactly zero pieces of merchandise ever. Yeah, now, now they just don't uh, put that in the contract because they would be in breach because they make so much stuff uh, that eventually they're going to screw up and then we'd, we'd swoop in with our legal team and show them what's for. Because we didn't get a, uh, a cup from 7-Eleven. <laughs> I'd just like to say I don't think we're bitter at all. <laughs> so it's so like bitter. You, you create, you write, you do all these things and you can't even be, like there's going to be somebody online that has every piece of collectible and you go, I made the damn thing, I don't even have the shower curtain. It's like you're, you're in my mind. I think we'll just have to be satisfied with the money. Uh, try to go out and buy it all yourself. I did see a leather Baymax yesterday that I coveted, and I can't get one because it's some kind of exclusive. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll buy it on eBay for like $5,000, I guess. <laughs> what are some of the projects that you have uh, in the works right now? Uh, as Man of Action or comic books or what do you... Whatever. Anywhere, wherever you want to go, we're covering so we it all. Two live action TV shows that we're working on in the UK with Left Bank Entertainment. That's pretty exciting. Can't tell you what those are yet, but that's cool. Do they have the words doctor or orphan in it? They, <laughs> they don't <laughs> yet, but they're original stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm doing a comic book called Camp Midnight for Image Comics. It's a standalone graphic novel about a human girl who winds up in a monster summer camp and has to kind of keep her secret identity on the down low. Uh, she tries to survive and help her best friend Mia get through the summer, and that comes out in October. That's pretty cool. Joe Casey? We just finished shooting the Officer Down movie it's based on um, one of my graphic novels starring Kim Coates as Officer Down. Uh, we're editing right now, hopefully be out next year. And then I have a um, classy book from Image called Sex, <laughs> ongoing, and another book called Valhalla Mad, which is also out there. So, uh, very busy. Joe Kelly? Uh, we made an announcement a little while ago about the I Kill Giants movie, uh, which uh, is moving along at a very nice clip. Um, hopefully, very soon, we're going to make another big announcement about some talent, uh, which I'm very, very excited about. Oh, um, some talent on that Yeah, movie. some talent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wrote the script. I'm really proud of it. Uh, we have an amazing director uh, named Anders Walter. Uh, Andrew, Anders Walter who uh, won Oscar the winner. Yeah, Oscar Anders winner, Walter. yeah. Oscar won the Academy winner. Award for uh, Best Short Film a couple of years ago. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Um, second volume of Four Eyes is coming out uh, through Image uh, this fall, which is a book that I love and is near and dear to my heart. But Max Viumar is super busy and is a superstar at uh, Dark Horse, so getting his time is a little challenging. Yeah. But uh, we have more of that coming out. And then a couple of other uh, comics uh, that I can talk about very soon, but not until Sunday. <laughs> embargo and Duncan um, well I think you opened up the whole thing by saying we've already done everything and what do we <laughs> that's where I am I'm with you I've already done anything so I got nothing coming out no actually I've got so many different comics that I'm doing with uh, I'm working with a lot of artists on a bunch of books uh, but nothing I can announce yet so so it's safe to say that for you four gentlemen uh, there's no downtime in the near future no no, no. So we'll be on the lookout for all of this stuff. Uh, what kind of social media can we plug here? Where do you want to direct everybody? I mean, you've got a million projects, but right. where, uh, where do you want to go with this? Well, we've got our Facebook page, Man of Action Entertainment, right? 
So, so at Man of Action E N T is our he, Twitter he's handle. Gonna, he's, I'm going to do the uh, for the deaf. I'm doing the. Hand. <laughs> I like that Duncan is doing hand gestures for radio. <laughs> well, I just said I was. Go ahead, continue. Uh, you yeah. could do the Garrett Morris one where you could yell yeah, real loud. Exactly. I was going to. I've actually pulled the Garrett Morris uh, joke out. And I'm so I'm uh, uh, we're impressed, impressed that you know that you would uh, know that uh, reference <laughs> at Man of Action E N T um, E N T. <laughs> our uh, our <laughs> website is manofaction.tv, uh, and then we have some various Twitter accounts and stuff like Not that. Not me, so. except for Joe Casey. <laughs> he's off the grid. Joe Casey's off the grid. Yeah, he's uh, you might catch him in those uh, like uh, eight millimeter snapshots of uh, Bigfoot moving through the forest, <laughs> but he built he's building his hay bale uh, house. Out in the middle of uh, for the doomsday preppers. The longest tail on no these No idea what's happening right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I don't think you got any proper plugs in here, Stephen. So do you have anything social media wise? Uh, well, actually, because this is the weird thing about being a collective is that those are our handles. We post everything collectively. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Men of Action, go to the Facebook. We'll, sh we'll shout it real loud at the end. We'll put yeah. it in post. Uh, check it out. Everything you guys uh, have been doing. I got to tell you this, I've only recently started watching Ben 10. Uh, a friend of mine has a son who just started getting into this. And I'm just like, I'm enjoying this. And I don't think I'm at the age that I should be really enjoying this. No, but, I, got problems. You got problems. <laughs> but I walk down the aisle, you know, in Toys R Us. And I'm like, I kind of want that. I kind of want that, too. Nice. How do I bring that home? <laughs> no, that's cool. Thank you. It's good. To, I mean, we do shows we want to see. I mean, that's that's one of the things no. that uh, we try to make a hallmark of our work. So it's good to hear that. And with that said, I'm going to go over to Funko and try to get the big Baymax. There you go. There we Excellent. go. Excellent. Thank you guys so Thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah.